Hi, beautiful souls. Thank you for your kind comments last time. In case you don't know me, let me introduce myself. My name is Isabella Summers. I am a nomadic liquor ink artist who paint with vodka, sake, mutai, and aramori. Call me crazy. I have just left where I sojourned and moved to a new place to search for new inspirations for my art creation. It is towards the end of autumn here, and I would love to capture the beauty of fall before it ends. In this video, I will take you to a journey beneath the magnificent ginkgo trees, exploring the late autumn vibes and witnessing the creative magic of nature that unfolds, trying my new art supplies, gouache and more. I will upload many more videos in the coming days, so please subscribe for more. Who loves fall as much as me? When I was little, I used to live in a place where autumn was so short and not obvious. So as I step into this new and unfamiliar place now, I was surprised by the beautiful scenery autumn has brought me. It's as if the world was colored red, orange, and yellow. The enchanting ginkgo trees welcome me with open arms. The golden leaves carpeting the ground create a surreal atmosphere that fills me with gratitude. With each step, I can't help but feel a surge of creativity coursing through my veins. I am captivated by the unique beauty of each fallen ginkgo leaf. The intricate patterns and vibrant colors speak to my soul. It's like urging me to capture them in my form of expression. With every leaf that I carefully pick up, I am filled with a profound sense of gratitude for the universe that has painted us such a beautiful world. Amidst the ginkgo trees, I find myself overcome by a sense of wonder. The fallen leaves with their vibrant hues beckon me to release my inhibitions and embrace the joy of being a child one more time. I gather a handful of ginkgo leaves, feeling their delicate texture between my fingers, and a surge of inspiration washes over me. The scent of the ginkgo leaves fills the air. The earthy aroma awakens my senses and fuels me. Each touch, each feel of the leaves sparks new possibilities within me. Through the ginkgo leaves, I find inspiration in its purest form. It reminds me to embrace my inner child, to let go of expectations, and to explore the world with an open heart and mind. This playful encounter has set my imagination free. Walking through the street that sided with ginkgo trees, I can't help but reflect on how lucky I am to be embraced by this late autumn ambiance. The crisp air, the warm hues, and the gentle breeze all conspire to inspire me in ways I never thought possible. I will probably come by another day because it is such a sanctuary for my artistic spirit. As an artist, I am constantly looking for experiences that stir my creativity. This walk has proven to be a treasure trove of inspiration, and I am just so happy for the artistic vibes this new place has bestowed upon me. As I walk past the serene fountain, I am attracted by its shimmering waters. The gentle flow and rhythmic sound create an enchanting melody that resonates deep within me. I can feel a wave of tranquility washes over me, as if the fountain spring holds the power to cleanse my soul, washing away all my burdens and tiredness. With each moment spent in its presence, I feel lighter and rejuvenated. This is just what we need sometimes, isn't it? After my enchanting walk through the ginkgo trees, I am filled with a newfound energy to create. Eager to capture the essence of that experience, I reach for gouache paints, a medium that is entirely new to me. The gouache set I bought is the set with 56 colors by Emaya. It's by far the set with the most color choices. I wanted to see how it is going to make a difference on my paintings. So, as I begin to work with gouache, I am pleasantly surprised by its creamy texture and vibrant pigments. The paint glides effortlessly across my paper, allowing me to blend colors with ease and achieve remarkable opacity. As I delve deeper into my painting, I find myself comparing the qualities of gouache with watercolor and acrylic. Unlike watercolor, gouache provides excellent coverage and can be applied opaquely while still retaining its ability to be thinned out for translucent effects. In contrast to acrylic, gouache dries to a matte finish and can be reactivated with water even after it has dried, 
allowing for endless possibilities in layering and blending. As I continue to work on my painting, I find myself captivated by the versatility of gouache. Its ability to mimic the qualities of both watercolor and acrylic opens up a world of creative potential. The rich, velvety texture of gouache allows me to build layers and achieve intricate details, while its vibrant colors bring my artistic vision to life in ways that are both surprising and exciting. After my walk through the ginkgo trees, I feel that my mind is filled with autumnal colors, so I've decided to follow my heart and paint without sketching. I love that because it feels so free. I can simply immerse myself in the warm palette of golden yellows, fiery oranges, rich reds, and earthy browns as they are a reflection of the beauty I encountered in nature, and they serve as the foundation for the world I am about to create. After pouring my heart and soul into my artwork, I find solace in taking a moment to pause and rejuvenate. I lit up the aroma candle I bought from the farmer's market. It has a delicate fragrance of bergamot, apple cinnamon, and fig that fills my home and evokes the essence of autumn. The warm and inviting scent fills the air. It is very soothing to my senses. With the aroma candle casting its comforting glow, I prepare a cup of Genmai tea, a Japanese brown rice green tea that holds a special place in my heart. The earthy notes of the tea, combined with the subtle nuttiness of roasted brown rice, create a blend that is both grounding and invigorating. As I take a sip, I am transported by its soothing warmth, feeling an instant sense of calm wash over me. Having been sojourned in Okinawa for over seven years, Japan has already become a part of me. I always remind myself of what I have learned in tea ceremony in Japan, and that's Ichigoichi. Ichigoichi is an old Japanese proverb that means one opportunity, one encounter. In other words, Ichigoichi embodies the philosophy that every moment spent in an encounter should be treasured. In the same way, I treasure the way I can encounter with you through my video and art. There should be a character to appreciate the beauty of fall. So, I started to paint this girl who is sitting on a tree. As the girl in red begins to take shape on the canvas, I infuse her with a sense of freedom and whimsy. She sits barefoot on a tree, her red dress billowing in the gentle breeze as she gazes into the distance. In her hands, she cradles a cup of coffee, savoring a moment of peace and indulgence. Through her expression and posture, I convey a world where she is unbound by reality, where she can exist in her own fantasy. Beneath the girl, I paint a crystal clear pond, its waters reflecting the azure sky above. The harmonious blend of blue-green hues creates a serene pond at the base of the tree, adding an element of magic to the scene. It is a place where the ordinary transcends into the extraordinary, where reality melds with fantasy in perfect harmony. This painting is a tribute to the enchanting spirit of autumn and to celebrate the inherent magic that surrounds us. The last part of what I call it complete is to frame the artwork. This time I approach it with a modern gold aluminum frame. Its sharp edges demand careful handling and I must unscrew each nail with precision. The frame's contemporary allure is what I like and I think it matches with my painting, but it requires a delicate touch to ensure a seamless presentation. Once the frame is prepared, I proceed to affix my artwork to a mat, ensuring that it is centered and aligned perfectly. The mat serves as a complementary backdrop, enhancing the visual impact of the painting within the frame. Good things take time and I am willing to go all the way to achieve the desired result. With the artwork securely nested within the mat, I slide it into the sleek gold aluminum frame carefully, aligning it precisely before securing each nail back in place. The final result is a seamless fusion of artistic expression and contemporary aesthetics, a process that demands patience, precision, and a commitment to excellence. As the moon shine, I find myself whispering a silent farewell to the day, 
In this moment of quiet reflection, I am reminded that each season brings its own message and autumn whispers to me of change, of letting go, and of savoring every last bit of beauty before it slips away. My heart is full of gratitude for this journey, for the chance to gather the golden leaves in my arms. I think of all the canvases I will fill with their essence, a tribute to this season's splendor. To you beautiful souls watching, and to the art that awaits us, May we always find beauty in the impermanent, and may we always be inspired by the world around us. Remember to live, to feel, and to create. Before we part ways, I ask you to hold on to this feeling we've shared. If this message resonated with your spirit, if you felt the warmth of Autumn's embrace through my words, I invite you to nurture our growing community. Like this video to show your appreciation, subscribe to join us on this beautiful journey, and share this experience with others who seek the beauty in fleeting moments. Together, let's spread the enchantment of autumn far and wide. Thank you for being here, for witnessing the artistry of life with me. Embrace the change, cherish the memories, and let's continue to chase the magic that every season holds.